Hi everyone. I'm honored to take part in this FPI initiative called Questions Inspire Solutions and share some of Sanofi Gensam's perspective on the development challenges specific to orphan medicines. The biggest challenge is the lack of knowledge and understanding of rare diseases before the development of a treatment. This is due to the very small number of patients who also tend to be geographically dispersed and the diagnostic odyssey that many of these patients unfortunately still have to go through, making it difficult to identify and locate these patients in the first place. Developing clinical trial programs considering these factors is a major technical and methodological obstacle for scientists and for the industry. To add to the development challenges, we need to consider that it takes longer to obtain clinically and statistically significant results in clinical trials due to the small sample of patients. Also, oftentimes, we lack data or registries. Long-term monitoring and quality of life studies are essential. And last but not least, randomized double-blind studies versus placebo raise ethical questions for diseases that are often serious, chronic, progressive and life-threatening. Of course, there are solutions to overcome these obstacles, such as partnering with healthcare providers, patients and industrial research centers. Europe successfully created the European Reference Network to ensure this link. We also need to structure European health data via public and private partnerships and think of registries and cohorts as interconnectable while remaining respectful to international standards. And we need a favorable legislative environment. Here, the European Commission has made significant advances by including the EU regulation on orphan medicinal products that gave the pharmaceutical industry tools to invest in research and development for rare diseases. On this special day, it is of utmost importance to remind everyone that the revision of the orphan regulation is an opportunity for Europe to keep the leadership in rare diseases and to enhance its attractiveness to investors because ultimately this will benefit the millions of patients that count on us.